That was... Oh, that was... That's a knife? Mon enfant! <coughs> oh, mon dieu! They did it! They did it! They've turned my sweet daughter into a cold machine! It's all right. Stay calm. Well, Ludia, what has Cagliostro told you? Has he sent you to put me out of my misery? No. I'm going to get you out of here. Let me help you. There's no point. I'm burning with fever, and I'm already short of breath. Death lurks around every corner in this prison. I, I couldn't escape it. I... I'm not long for this world. No, you can't. Outside, your automats are slaughtering men, women, and children. What you have done, monsieur, only you can undo. What I have done. The miracles I performed. The wonders I gave to this kingdom. It was nothing but vanity. I closed my eyes to it for so long. Mesmer, Cagliostro. Souls snatched from their eternal rest like water from a well. I should have set fire to the workshop. I should have melted my creations. <laughs> It's not too late to stop the massacre. I don't have the strength. You must... <coughs> Speak, monsieur. Say something, Enfant. You must stop them. The king and his loathsome henchman, Cagliostro, the master of the machines. He gives them their orders. He must be silenced at all costs. <coughs> Take my hand. Monsieur. Monsieur. Father. No, no, my pauvre enfant. I am not your father. No more than you are, Atenais. You're but the vessel that contains what is left of her broken soul. <coughs> I don't want to die without hope. In the name of what is left of her in you. In the name of her love for you. I beg you to free her from the purgatory our enemies have confined her to. I will grant your wish, monsieur. Do you realize what that means? Are you ready to make that sacrifice? The ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> My fee. I shall never see her darling face again. Much petite. You must set her free. Bring her back into the light. The light. The... Monsieur. Monsieur.
citoyen. I come bearing sad tidings. Monsieur de Vaucanson has passed away. I was present for his last breath in his cell at the Bastille. Juste de ciel. Requiescat in pace. Mon Dieu, it is a cruel fate that has taken my dearest friend from me today. Eugène. Ce pauvre Eugène. I cannot suffer such a horrible injustice. Was he at least able to tell you something before he passed away? No. Nothing. How unfortunate. We are lost. Must we resign ourselves to this disastrous turn of events? No, General. Every part of me refuses to do so. Eugène de Vaucanson made me make a promise that I swore to keep. Now I have no other choice than to risk everything. What are you thinking, Aegis? I'm thinking of making my way to Versailles. Eh bien, you should know that I also plan to go there. You... don't even think about it. Ma foi. What have we got to lose? Our lives? At this point, you must admit that they're not worth much. I agree with the Marquis's resolution. We must take into account everything that Aegis has done to foil the King's plans. The time has come for us to put ourselves at her service. Not so fast, mon ami. Let's not rush into anything. You'd have to be mad to want to be part of the battle to come. Those who agree to take part in this strike will need to keep a low profile until Aegis has cleared the way. As for you, madame, I do not know what new arrangements have been made since my last visit to the Queen, but I found the area around the North Wing to be particularly empty. Here is where you should launch the attack. If fortune is in my favor, I shall be waiting for you at the Petit Trianon with something to help you make your way through the gardens. As for us, once the Automats have been defeated, we will enter the palace to seize the King and the Count. Is that your plan, Monsieur le Marquis? It is, Monsieur. We are about to take the small step that separates audacity from madness. Are you ready to take it, Madame? Citoyen, I cannot escape my obligations. It is in my very nature to honor them. I kept the promise I made to the Queen to find Monsieur de Vaucanson. I am now bound by the oath I swore before my Creator. If I go to Versailles, it is in the hope of rescuing Athenaeus. I think also of all that remains to be done in Paris. And what's more, you demand my help to make you masters of the King. It is a heavy burden that we place on your shoulders. But once again, we must leave it up to you. Take your time, Aegis. A hasty decision could lead to disaster. We will be ready for action when the time comes. Pour la nation, et pour le royaume! Citoyen de Voisier. What can I do for you, Aegis? The clues I found at the warehouse suggest that the gunpowder was moved to the Bastille. Diable! You must find a way to get there and put an end to this threat. The clues I found at the warehouse suggest that the gunpowder was moved to the Bastille. Diable! You must find a way to get there and put an end to this threat. Goodbye, Citroën Lavoisier. And down with despotism. Citroën B. Ah, mademoiselle. Well, what news? Goodbye, Citroën B. Vive la nation! Citoyen Robespierre. Madame. As for the lanterns. Did Monsieur de la Clos tell you the secret of his explosive cannonball? No. We didn't talk about it. That's a pity. Without his help, our strategy is doomed to failure. Let's see. I know he's close to Monsieur Marat, the patriotic journalist. He's currently in hiding in the quarries of Montmartre. But please do not breathe a word of this to the Marquis de Lafayette. Those two are at daggers drawn. It would certainly end in a bloodbath. As for the lanterns... Did Monsieur de la Clos tell you the secret of... No. We didn't talk about it. That's a pity. Without his help, our strategy is doomed to failure. Let's see. I know he's close to Monsieur Marat, the patriotic journalist. He's currently in hiding in the quarries of Montmartre. But please do not breathe a word of this to the Marquis de Lafayette.
those two are at daggers drawn. It would certainly end in a bloodbath. As for the lanterns, no. Let's. I know he's current. But it would. Were you present when? We, oui, madame. We laid bare before. So he at least posit. We. Oui. We. Oui, so at least posit. Goodbye, Citroen. And. Citroen. I found it's you. Oh, yeah, and I that's what because. Mesmer. The Prince of Charlatans. Good heavens. Fuck, it wasn't. Ugenda, can you. You mentioned a com. This. And we were asked. If the. A com. A dip. My. It was perhaps. Where? The dip was. I. Ah, in this. Why? That it. This is. And it is there. This. I. I want. What room? Here. 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 What happened? Oh, and that. Aim. And. Oh, dude. Good night. Goodbye, Sit. Sit well, Raymond. Can I help you? What fate does a this? This goes as I, I am that. You are. I. 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 I late and there more. What is the? We pawn and we do. Yeah. Uh, I Goodbye. Monseigneur. What c Goodbye, Mon. Vive la If that is your then so. Can I help you? I have. I am listening. You still have no news from Citroën Brissot. Indeed. He knew we were. Can you. No. Me. But these. Ah. Match your wish. Who. In it. But you. Ed. No. Win. General La Goodbye, General and alone to rescue Citoyen Brissot. It's a fool's errand. I must help her at all costs.
You called, madame? Aegis, thank heavens you're here. We're under siege. In the courtyard, one of the king's creatures. It seems determined to destroy the Chateau walls. It's as if it came here for us. Here is the key to the gate. It will lead you to the courtyard. Hurry, our lives are in your hands.
You're safe, madame. Mon dieu. Ages. Why did this abomination attack us? I do not know, madame. Bonso, have you lost your mind? The king wants us dead and has sent this unholy creature after us. His madness knows no bounds. There isn't a single subject in the kingdom that he does not see as his mortal enemy. Not even his wife. What fate does he have in store for your children? Oh, he would never. Fine. Play blind and deaf as long as you like, Antonia. As for me, I won't let that demon commit one more crime. Gabriel, no! I order you not to. Leave us, Aegis. I must speak privately with Madame de Polignac. Very well, madame.